Hey, what's going on? It's Jack Malacco for Beard Brand. Today, we're gonna to take a look at five different actors and see how they can improve their facial hair. Last week, we looked at the beards of YouTube and how five different content creators could improve their facial hair. This week, we're gonna take things to a larger scale. We're gonna throw it over to Hollywood and see how five different actors can improve their beards. So on the chopping block this week, we've got Chris Evans, Tom Hardy, Michael B. Jordan, Sam Elliott, and finally, Jace Momoa. So the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna take a look at these actors, categorize their beards, and really name what type of facial hair they have in the pictures that I found. Then I will offer them some style advice and how they can take their beards to the next level. And finally, I'm gonna offer my rankings from my least favorite beard in this category to my favorite out of all these actors, okay? So without further ado, let's get right into it. First up, we've got Captain America himself, Chris Evans. So I'm gonna get right into this and just say that Chris Evans rocks a tried and true corporate beard. This beard is very neat, it's very trimmed, and he keeps it very close to his face. There are some patches in this beard, but we'll get into that later. But overall, if you wanted to put a name on this beard, it would absolutely be a good example of a corporate beard. What we can offer Chris Evans is not necessarily a style change, but really just picking a length at this current style of corporate beard. Because in the pictures that I found, I really like what he has in the first one, but in the second one, you can see that he's got it a bit shorter and you can sort of tell that those pronounced patches are a bit more evident in this one. So what I would suggest for Chris Evans is that he always keeps it at least at about a two month mark. So about one and a half inches to two inches at the longest part of his beard. Not coming off the face at all, he's gonna keep it really tight to the face, but I wanna see nice even coverage overall, especially in that cheek area where it tends to be its thinnest. I don't know if that's necessarily something that he did when he was shaving the cheek lines in, but overall, I really do like the first picture a lot more because it shows off the strengths of his beard a lot better. Now, let's talk about that mustache for a minute. I really like this one. There's really no patches in it at all, and it comes nice and down to the lip. But if he were to let it grow any further than that, I think it would look really unkempt versus the rest of his really neat beard. So if he was gonna take a look at the mustache at all, I would trim it right at the lip all the way across. Usually I don't suggest that. I kind of like mustaches to go in more of a V direction towards the center of the mouth. But in Chris Evans' case, I really like the straight across mustache. Now in terms of what he's putting in the beard, I would see Chris Evans as a utility bomb kind of guy. I think he wants something a little bit more matte in the beard, doesn't want a bunch of high shine to it, especially when his hair looks so natural upstairs, okay? So in terms of fragrance, I see Chris Evans as a tree ranger kind of guy, you know, a little bit woodsy, not super far out there, real tried and true popular, like Captain America himself. Overall, for Chris Evans, I would suggest to keep the corporate beard at a two month mark, remember one and a half to two inches of length, keep the mustache nice and neat above the lip, and finally, a bit of utility balm in that tree ranger fragrance. Okay, let's move on to number two. Next up, we'll talk about Tom Hardy. Now he comes in two different flavors based on these uh, pictures I found. So in the first one, we're gonna take a look at, this is a natural beard, but really this thing's pretty unkempt. I think this is one of the situations where Tom Hardy had just finished a movie or something, or maybe he was going for a new character in a new movie that required him to look pretty mm, schlubby. But overall, this is a natural beard, but really an unkempt natural beard, okay? But I wanna take a look at this second picture because in this second one, this is the scruffy goat. Now this is a beard style that we don't really see that often out in the wild, but I really do like it. It's one that I wish that a lot more people wore because it's a great style and mixes the best of both worlds. If you don't wanna go for the full beard and you don't wanna just go for the circle beard or the goatee, this is really what you wanna do, okay? So the way this works is Tom Hardy has grown out his mustache pretty wild, same thing with the goatee, and then just a little bit of growth on the sides. Not necessarily the full beard, he's gonna keep it really nice and tight in the side so that it's at most a heavy stubble. Overall, this gives a sort of, I don't really care about my appearance, but at the same time, you really do. I do like this style overall. But let's see how we can take it to the next level. First thing we're gonna look at is the mustache and goatee. I think the stubble on the side is fine. If anything, I would let that grow out just a little bit more so that it's more pronounced, especially in a guy like Tom Hardy where his beard comes in pretty light. I would suggest that he lets the stubble grow out a little bit more so we can really see it. I think in certain lights, we probably wouldn't notice the stubbles there and really focus on that mustache and the goatee. Now I say that because both of these are pretty wild. We see a lot of that original beard style in this because Again, I think Tom Hardy just kind of lets it grow out and says, there it is. But if we were to introduce something like a little bit of styling balm, he could keep that sort of I don't care look, but at the same time, introduce a little bit of controlled chaos to this facial hair. But overall, like I said, I really do like this facial hair style and Tom Hardy to this day remains as one of the best examples of the scruffy goat. So with all that being said, let's move on to number three. Now, 
Let's talk about Michael B. Jordan, the youngest actor on this list at 32 years old. So in the two pictures that I found, he's got pretty much exactly the same facial hair. The only thing that we've noticed that's different is the hair upstairs. But we're not going to talk about that today. We're just going to focus on the beard, which is, in both of these pictures, a take on the Van Dyke. Very small variation of it. He's got a smaller mustache and a really small amount of growth on the chin. But in essence, this is the Van Dyke. OK, so what we can offer for Michael B. Jordan is actually a style change. What I would say for Michael B. Jordan is that he should shave the goatee. I think I would like to see him with just the mustache. I like this because he takes really good care of this mustache. It's not really in your face and not really screaming, hey, look, a mustache. It's just like a little accent piece to his overall style. And Michael B. Jordan really does have a cool style. I really like this guy. So if I were to say anything, shave off the goatee, make sure that everything else is nice and completely shaven and just make sure that you're maintaining that mustache. Don't let it grow out too much. Don't let this thing overtake the entire lip. Really get into grooming this mustache. That probably means that you'll need to take the razor to the sides and maybe the top at least twice a week. But I think that's a small price to pay for a really good looking piece of lip lettuce, okay? Now, in terms of what I put in this mustache, because it's so small, I would say like one or two drops of beard oil is gonna do Michael B. Jordan just fine. He doesn't need to mess around with anything else. He doesn't need to do any combing or brushing or anything else because it's so small and because it doesn't really take up that much of his face. It's kind of tough offering a guy like this style advice beyond the beard because honestly, he's the type of dude that should be giving me style advice, all right? So overall, remember, Shave off the goatee, maintain that mustache, one or two drops of beard oil. Overall, it's gonna set up Michael B. Jordan well. All right, now let's move on to number four. From the youngest actor on this list to the oldest actor on this list, let's talk about Sam Elliott and that massive mustache, okay? This is the type of guy that makes me a little bit uh, self-conscious about my own mustache, but man, overall, this is absolutely a walrus mustache. This thing is big, it's full, and it's absolutely there. You know it's there and you know Sam Elliott for this mustache. Now this is where things are gonna get interesting. Usually in these style recommendations, I pretty much keep to the same style that these guys are rocking, just changing little things here and there. But with Sam Elliott, I would say that we need to do a complete overhaul, mostly just from my own morbid curiosity. I would love to see him with a full natural beard, even leaning towards a yeared status, okay? If his mustache is this big and this full, I think we can achieve something really nice if he were to just let it all go and grow out an entire beard. Now, I don't know if he can grow out an entire beard, but if he's got the chops and the genetics for it, I'd absolutely love to see it because I have a good feeling about this one. And I think if he were to grow it all out, it would look really nice, especially in his older age. He's got that great white color going on in the mustache that I think would translate really nicely into a full beard. Now, of course, while he's growing that out, he's absolutely going to want beard oil at the beginning because it's going to be itchy. If I was to make any sort of fragrance recommendation for Mr. Sam Elliott, I'd lean towards old money. I know he's sort of the rugged cowboy type, but underneath all that, I think there's a touch of elegance. And I think old money would really suit him well. It's got a nice touch of understated elegance that would really suit Mr. Elliott pretty well, at least in my opinion. OK, so overall, remember, I want to see that natural beard on Sam Elliott. Otherwise, Keep that mustache nice and full, throw a little bit of old money in there, and Bob's your uncle, you're set. All right, let's move on to our final one, number five. Jason Momoa, much like Tom Hardy, marches to the beat of his own drum. That's really reflected in the facial hairstyle, which I would have to categorize as, just like Tom Hardy, a scruffy goat. Now, in this case, it's grown out a lot more than Tom Hardy's, at least in these pictures that I've found. He really likes to grow out that goatee way far down, coming off the face completely, and we see a lot of growth in the mustache. Even on the sides, we see a ton more growth. It's going way past heavy stubble, leaning even a little bit more into natural beard. More towards corporate, though, if you really get close to it. My recommendation for Jason Momoa is that he gets rid of the scruffy goat style and embraces the circle beard. I just want to see the mustache connect into the goatee and it can still hang down as long as he wants, but if we take away those cheeks and the growth underneath, it's really good to pronounce that circle beard and make it look even more awesome. He may even want to introduce a little bit of sea salt spray to his beard. I think this is only going to take his beard to the next level, kind of getting it a little bit more akin to the hair upstairs and give him that really beachy look that he kind of embodies, okay? I don't think he needs to mess around with any combs or brushes or blow dryers. I don't want to lose that style that he's really known for, but by shaving down those cheeks, getting a little bit of sea salt spray into the beard is really just going to take it to the next level and just emphasize what he's already known for, okay? All right, now that I've classified these beards and given these actors a little bit of advice on how they can take their style to the next level, let's go ahead and rank these beards from my least favorite to my favorite. 
Again, like I always say, do not do this in real life, guys. This is just meant for a fun little series. I don't want you to compare your beards in real life. You grow what you've got and you rock what you have, okay? Do whatever you want, it's your beard. That all being said, let's get right into it with number five, my least favorite, Sam Elliott. Now, I can already see the uh, older viewers of this channel getting a little bit upset about that one, but because I offered such a drastic change for his style, going from that walrus mustache to the full natural beard, I'm gonna put Sam Elliott at number five. Of course, I love that mustache, but again, it's gotta sit at number five because I would change it the most. Up next, at number four, I would put Michael B. Jordan. Again, not a super big drastic change, but because he's just on the cusp of getting his mustache to really where I want it to be, and because it's so small and really not that there, I'd put it at number four, okay? Moving on to number three, let's go with Jason Momoa. Again, he needs to change up his style pretty drastically, getting rid of those sides and introducing a little bit of sea salt spray into the beard to get it to where I really think it would be perfect. So again, he'd be at number three. Number two is gonna be Mr. Chris Evans for me. I would have put him at number one, but because his beard kind of fluctuates between that shorter bit where it's a little bit, you know, thinner in the cheeks, and sometimes the mustache isn't all that it can be, I would put him at number two. And finally, number one, again, my own bias comes into this, Tom Hardy. With that scruffy goat that he is really known for and that we always use as an example of the scruffy goat. I love this style. Of course, you can introduce a little bit more control to it and grow out the sides a little bit more, but overall, I really do like this style and I love the way that he wears it in that carefree way. So those are how five different actors can improve their beards. Who did I miss? What did I get wrong? Why am I still doing this? Who knows? Anyway, I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to leave a comment, a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And until I see you next week, hey, keep on growing. Thanks for watching this video. Beard Brand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.